my name is Rita Fontaine and I am Ella Fontaine and we are super excited to bring to you a new line of products. We have designed our own rhinestone templates, templates. and stencils. stencils, making rhinestoning so much, so much easier. easier, so, so much so, so much easier and amazing and you're going to be so grateful and excited and whatever lots of adjectives so you can buy them from www.crystalqueen.com.au or or on our brand new etsy store fontaine fontaine so check out the links below to follow us on all of our social media channels and don't forget to hit subscribe why? So that you can get our tips and tricks, be up to date with our latest designs and tutorials. See all of our newly released products in, uh, you'll get to see us doing it live. And uh, yeah, we yeah. can't wait to share more about our this new products with you. Exciting new journey. Yeah. Yeah. Hang around to see how we've used our Paradiso stencil. La! Hi, this is Ella, and today I will be showing you how to do the Paradiso design. And I will be showing you how I do it using a few different heat fix tools, including the t shirt press, the hot fix applicator, and then I have the hot FX by the Beadsmith. So, right, flat back rhinestones come in two types you've got glue one and hot fix or heat fix. The heat fix ones, they come with this gray glue on the back that is activated by heat. So the first tool on the market is that I find is this guy here, very cheap to get a hold of, $15 to $24, depends where you buy it. They come with a number of different tips. So these tips have little indentations, little grooves in them, and they correspond with your rhinestone size. You pick up your rhinestone in the time that it takes to pick it up and place it, the glue should melt, and you hold that guy down for a few seconds. The only thing I find with these is that they come with a number of fittings, but they don't always have the size that is right for the stone I want to use. For example, this particular set doesn't have SS16, which is the size I like to use. And then sometimes, depending on your brand of um, rhinestone or crystal, they can be slight variations in size. So even my SS20 part fitting doesn't actually fit my SS20 stones. It's a little bit bigger and so it doesn't pick it up. So in that case, it does come with some a couple of blanks. So you can see it's just a flat tip. So in this case, I would pick up my rhinestone, place it down, and then use the blank to melt the glue. So as you can see, it's safe to use with your stencil. Your stencil is heat resistant, not heat proof. Don't leave it touching the stencil for a long period of time. This tip does get quite hot, so some fabrics may damage with the heat as well. Certainly don't leave these on when you've got kids running around. So that's that hot fix applicator. Very easy to get a hold of. Just Google rhinestone hot fix applicator, you'll find one. Then we have our hot FX by the Beadsmith. Comes with this little cap, looks like a dolphin. So you hold it like this, like you're gonna write with a pencil got your on and off switch and then you've got this purple button see that purple button when you press it it turns turns white sounds like you're gonna do a tattoo what that does is it sucks so you've got this metal tip even hotter than the pink applicator so do not touch this and uh, it comes with a second one which is much smaller for smaller rhinestones this particular size is suitable for size 16 and 20 but does not go above 20. So you press that, sucks up the rhinestone, pop it down, and again, just long enough for that glue to melt. 
Now the advantage of using hotfix tools and hotfix rhinestones is a much cleaner effect, especially if you tend to be a bit sticky, messy or heavy handed with glue. However, some people find it faster. I personally find gluing to be much, much faster myself. So now I'm gonna show you how I do the stencil with a heat press. Not everybody has a heat press in their homes. They're quite bulky. They get in the way and expensive. But uh, for the sake of showing you how to do the Paradiso, it's very fast. So I'll be using that today. So with the heat press, now I'm also going to show you how to create uh, jewelry for stage for dance. This is a trick that lots of uh, lots of performers use in dance sport, ballroom, Latin, samba. It's a way of having fabulous jewelry on you that doesn't move, um, and it is backed onto fabric. I'm going to have it at five uh, one five five. I'm have it set to fifty seconds. With your stencil, try not to go too far above that. Sometimes it's just, uh, if you do need hotter, this should be adequate for at least setting the stones to the fabric. Take your stencil off and then hit it again. So it's nice and flat. Now I love using dance fabrics. One of the reasons for this is I hate using sewing machines. In the Fontaine Fontaine partnership, Rita Fontaine is the sewing machine whisperer. I am the sewing machine throw out the window. -er. Dance fabrics, no fray, acceptable to have a raw edge. They come in a lot of different colors. You can have lycras, um, lycra satines, anything, any fabric that you are uncertain of or doing this for the first time, please test it. Um, test, a, test a small patch because you don't want a fabric that will melt. Any fabric that has any sort of um, uh, acrylic, any plastic content may actually melt in this process. So always test it first. First thing I do is I put down some baking paper. Uh, this will protect the base of the heat press. Sometimes you can get uh, Teflon sheets. They're really expensive, seriously baking paper works just like a dream, have the waxy side up. So when it comes to using choosing a fabric for my Paradiso design, there are lots of skin tones out there, but this also looks fabulous on colored fabric as well. Uh, we have an example of it on black fabric and just having that contrast of a bright color against your skin looks really fabulous. Um, if your costume's red, try a red lycra, matching red lycra. If your costume is purple, put it on purple. It really makes a statement. So here I'm using two layers. It's quite, uh, to keep this quite strong and robust. You can use, just do one layer and have it on your skin. Um, but of course I like to double layer it for strength and uh, durability. So what you need to do is you've got, this is actually a jersey. I've put the right side down because that will be the nice side that will be on the skin. And what this is, is double-sided bonding tape. Uh, I bought this at Spotlight in Australia. Um, I couldn't find it at Lingcraft. That's not to say that they don't stock it. And I'm sure overseas you can find it as well. This is the brand, it's called Visel sorry, Vliseline, I think it's German, and it is called Vliesofix or Bonderweb. So I would just search Bonderweb or a fusing paper. The What you need has to be, unlike fusing papers that are sticky on only one side, this needs to be double-sided sticky. This is it, it's double-sided, it's like it's a, it's a web. So it's going to stick one way and then stick the other way. So I've got my jersey piece cut out to the size of my Paradiso stencil times two because I'm going to flip it over and keep going. I've also, if you can cut it larger because on your stencil you'll see you've got an extra teardrop and an extra 
um, oval. You could just totally build up your neck piece if you want. With the this neckline, if you decide that that neckline is too big for you, you can always backfill at a later stage. A couple of lines in. If you decide that that neckline is not big enough for you, you can just trim or start uh, start further in line. So I'm going to put the bonder web on the first side. So we've got my top layer in place. Let's hit it again. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Please comment below or get into contact with us directly. When you buy the stencils and templates, we really want to see what you do with them. We want you to share it with us on social media because we absolutely love seeing what other people do with the rhinestones that we sell. Have fun.